All of a sudden, everything just froze and stopped working, and then, uh, like, like not the computer as an entirety froze, just all the programs that I had up. Because I was waiting for this damn game to load. All right, uh, let me turn the volume down on my computer. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, uh, when this game starts, it starts with a pretty loud noise, so. Second, let me uh, get to the desktop screen. Uh, turn that off. And then transition. There we go. Alright, let's uh, shift this window up a little bit. And let's load. Start where we left off. Uh, day four. Four? <laughs> let's see. $800 has been charged to your account to renew your membership to Shining Fingered. I, lo I love how you, your deck, the deck I made for you, it caused on so much better shape than, than, than mine is. <laughs> it's because yours, yours is in a boat and mine's on, like, top of a video cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Yours actually has protection from the elements. All right, let's see. It's in, it's in a boat. I have a boat hanging on my wall. I think I already saw this uh, last time. All right, uh, do do do. Good to go. So let's uh, get to work. Friday, December sixteenth. Good evening. Hello. Hmm? Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? Sounded more like a gunshot to me. I mean, to be fair, it's hard to tell. Yeah. I remember hearing trucks. I remember hearing <laughs> and even Jill saying, out. even Jill saying, have you ever heard gunshots? It have does we... sound similar. It does sound kind of similar. I've heard trucks go by my house and thought it was a train. Yeah. I, I've had uh, I've had an earthquake happen, and I thought it was just some big truck going through the neighborhood. <laughs> and this happened to be that one Virginia earthquake that was, uh, what was it, magnitude six point five. Oh. And and for something that's of that magnitude, the most that happened was just you know some stuff fell off the shelves. That was it. Yeah. Nothing like San Andreas level. Let's see, haven't we all at some point? Eh, yeah, well... Yeah. And then hear another bang outside. See, that sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? God damn it, guys. Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yeah, a couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed... He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Wow. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves, I was going to say. <laughs> right, we shouldn't lose time yeah, over our car's know. exhaust. Hey. Time. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Uh oh, I'm looking. This guy totally looks like Jason Alexander. Hey. Let's see. Oh my God. He looks like he looks like, he looks like freaking George Costanza from Seinfeld. He also looks kind of like RL 
sign. Does he? I don't. Have you seen that sign? I Somebody don't remember if I have. Glasses. Same haircut, same glasses, just a differently shaped face. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? That's pretty specific. Sounds like a tacky online handle. Online handle. Though tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope. Sorry. Uh, I have eighty dollars here that might refresh your memory. Wow, bribe. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. Eh, well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof I might have the info you so desperately need? No, I think 80 bucks. Would, would sway us when we have 10,000. I would have just taken the money. I mean, I mean, fair, but... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You could do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. God, how much is inflation in this world? To be fair, this takes place in, like, the 2070s, I think? Oh, God, inflation's gonna hit like a truck. Let's see. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? Uh, wait. Of course, you want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. He's just missing the point. That's how it works, right? I spend money. Not going to betray her fucking, her fucking like client. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. All right. Uh... You can buy tap water. <laughs> All right. Keep it under eighty. Should be something. Uh, Blue Fairy, that's pretty cheap. Uh, hold on. Crevice Spike. Ooh. Frothy Water. Gut Punch, there we go. 80 bucks. Uh, five Bronson Extract. One Flanergide. And I mean, this, this guy turns out to be like that other dude who's probably going to get a gut punch from jail. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And all right, let us age and mix. Here. Okay then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. No. But you said, you said no. maybe, maybe not. Turns out it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And, like I said, 80 bucks is nothing. So, I need to spend more. Oh my god. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? <sighs> I guess. Man. So, did you all start drinking it? I think that's assuming the case, yeah. So, why are you looking for that girl, Mr. Vondelay? Art Vondelay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. Oh, you're a pretty sucky one. So, I'll... I'll... Like, take me to a random bar that's like, have you seen, have you seen this girl? Because I don't know info. Naoto Shiragane, he is not. Yeah. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent. Or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. 
two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. Hmm. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. He does have a point there. If he got if he got a big enough paycheck, it'd be kind of dumb for it to be all just a prank. So, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep with local goings-ons. Well, let's I mean, see. You've got a fair point there. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see in the news. Uh, damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of bar. film... What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Gil might know something, if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. You know something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. I may not have been in very many bars in my life, but I know that they're not exactly places you go to get to get the scoop. Eh, there's I gossip. There's gossip going on. It's just gossip. Not the kind of gossip he's looking for. Yeah. And it doesn't look like Valhalla doesn't get that many customers for gossip anyway. Exactly. Also, the way he's doing it, it, it feels like it's set up for, for like a knock. Like it a really does, knock. doesn't it? It feels like it's a sting operation. It feels like it's set up for, for a bad bar joke. <laughs> so a private investigator walks into a bar. <laughs> I still remember the joke Steven made in the last uh. episode of the time. He's like... Now Gordon walks into a bar, and everything just goes to hell. <laughs> and here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. That's not answering my question! In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? Uh, I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. All right, Grizzly Temple it is. Grizzly, te Grizzly Temple. It's Shirley Temple after she, after she becomes a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I really wanted to voice chat with you all this time because I because I knew just so you could make puns like that. <laughs> you, uh, you surprised me, honey. You, fair you enough. Never... Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, blended. Boom. Here. Okay, then. This is going to be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? That's not how it works. No. Fine. So that's almost three times how... Oh, that's almost three times 80 bucks. I didn't even oh. notice the price. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. That's and the whole good. thing and the whole thing about a woman catching her mid-air makes me think it's totally made up. I As mean, <laughs> like that does happen. Yeah. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? Uh, it appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow. 
he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that Idol signed. Uh, I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Mm, guess not. Well, I mean, he's a private investigator, that's what they do. True, but is he investigating Dawson? No, not really, but, I mean, you never know. Did he, t did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago. Dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. Mm, I see, I see. That's, uh... Gunshot! It's a backfire! Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Mm, sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Eh, whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if no, some... I'm just imagining a cartoon, a cartoon scenario where someone's trying to lift, like, <laughs> has it up, and it just keeps falling. <laughs> To be fair, last night, uh, I was watching Tom Fox play, uh, Hitman, and one of the missions he was doing, uh, kept involving, like, crushing people under, uh, a car by, um, luring them into a garage and then pressing the button to drop the suspension lift. <laughs> and it was just... And, and what made it super funny was, like, even though it was, like, so obvious, he just pretended. It was just like, oh, I don't know what happened. All I did was press this button, and then, boom, oh, it happened again. Also, also, the murder chef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, the fight just breaks into the bar. Some, some <laughs> the wrestling. bar fight. <laughs> well, yeah. I've got to go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Just like a barmaid. <laughs> really, I just have different needs. But there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. I walked through a gang fight. <laughs> That's what's happening then Art, the nerd he is Walking right through a gang fight <laughs> And then it becomes that freaking bit From whose line is it anyway Things to say that will start a fight You guys want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> gang son? Uh, Unlikely, this is unicorn territory They've always been Neutral and important third party In other gang's deals The who what now? Unicorn, the best <laughs> Gang name. <laughs> Gang uh, amazing. Uh, I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? Uh, I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Uh oh. Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out. Soon enough. Well, go I'm streaming Chad, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7. My fucking god. Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. Jesus. I forgot about this girl. It's only Wait, night. That's really cute. Wait, she has fucking heterochromia. She does, yeah. And that's awesome. <laughs> it's only ninety nine ninety nine a month. Go premium now. Um. Uh, it's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades. Today's escapade is brought to you by the Shining Finger Dot Moe. You by the letter P. Jeez. Leaders of VR. A, a, wait, what? Adult Entertainment since twenty sixty nine. 
Jeez, I I forgot about this girl. Um, adult entertainment. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly. Ex um, adult entertainment. Wow. Sure. I mean, she is cute. My mind. My mind. <laughs> it wandered. <laughs> Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. Wow. wow, fuck you! And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Gillian's just laughing. Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? <laughs> You're looking at him. No way. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No. No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two, just like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Way to make an ass of yourself, girl. Is that a problem? I just saw one of the comments flying by. It says anime was a mistake. <laughs> Of course it's a problem. Freddy nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's Hello, an e fellow youngsters. I I see I just saw a cloud of things and then just like Oh god, how do I This is too real. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah. Just take your top off. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I might need to take off your brow, too, depending on how the traffic goes. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Moon. I just saw the moon go by. <laughs> is that piercing glare now? Come on. what? One of us is going to have to take off their top, and it ain't going to be me. I already did that once today. Wow. This girl. This girl. Heck, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. Just order something, woman. What's your policy on wearing pants? <laughs> Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes or no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. Wow, you're just straight up saying it. <laughs> Jeez. This is... Too much clothing. It's like if if they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? Jeez. Okay. Man, this girl's That's... a dick. Wow! All... She really loves us. <laughs> the obvious. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A baby. Okay, finally, finally, we're getting something. Uh, substance. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Uh, hello, service here, please. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. <laughs> sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can get a promo drink. Eh, Gris yeah, that's a good point. Grizzly Temple might do it. Uh, bitter, promo, bland. Yeah, that might that might do it. Okay. Uh, I'm still going by on the screen. Yeah, I see that. I'm, now that you pointed out the moon one, I'm half wondering if that's a Team Four Star reference. Uh, it, it might be, or it might be something different. Yeah, just, you know, Piccolo going, moon! It might be, or it might be something different. Some she might have done on stream. Oh, as in, okay. Here. All right then, cheers! 
I don't think you should chug it down, so... She already chugged it. Quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Oh, that's okay. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Wow. Jeez. Um. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> Gillian confirms. Yep. <laughs> okay, I've decided I'll just get really wasted. <laughs> that's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. This wasted gets nude on the screen. Okay. In the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an <laughs> average of... <laughs> you'll be like, in the future, just kind of going across your fucking peripheral view. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Uh, well, I know a guy named Proton John. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he oh. get. He doesn't get anywhere near that many viewers that often, so. I mean, I mean, there was one time where we had, like, 1,300, and yet it was actually 10,000. Oh, that, yeah, that was uh, apparently some glitch with Jackbox or something. Somebody was abusing bots. I saw that. I was like, wait, how is this working? I, I think somebody was, like, using a bot or something. A million bots. <laughs> a million bots. Let's see, then. Uh, last weekend we held a party for the Safar Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place Best was... Ever. This place was completely overrun by corgis. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Corgis! Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad, talking, corgis. Yep. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else? Uh, what else? How do I denko what? I'm, okay, that's not me back to reality. Someone asked me, how do I denko? <laughs> um, let's see. Anyone know what that is? Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfumed chauvinistic bastard? Huh. There's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small meat girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. Wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Oh, uh, sure. She saw the glass. This signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah. She came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. It, she seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know. She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she, sing, she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul's warming up like a high-performance computer. That's a very specific description. Um, do you want to do your bags actually heat up like a computer? I mean... Sure. I mean, if it makes a cat want to lay down on it and take a nap. That's your, your title. Wretched drunk, I'm not God. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody was going to notice that. <laughs> I just noticed it. Well, well done, honey. <laughs> that aside, uh, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, pretty please. No. Party pooper. <laughs> At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. Deal, professional party pooper. 
The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a pass with KGB. Um... <laughs> who told us? <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> you know, Gellian, you're not doing very good at keeping your cover. Yeah, I know. This, this game is great. This game is great just for the dialogue. Are you gonna order anything else? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole getting wasted thing. Uh, I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big oh, bad yeah, touch. Be, Coming right up. up. <laughs> so apparently, so apparently, Jill laughs like a kid whenever somebody orders a big bad touch. All right, so. Four Bronson extract. Realistically, this ghost chat will be blowing up about her getting a big bad touch. Realistically. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta give it that George Takei feel. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Just, <laughs> all right. All on the rocks and mixed. Oh my god. I Mummy Mon sounds like George Stakei. I don't know if it's <laughs> That's probably what they were going for. As a gun wielding mummy. I was expecting something dirtier. We have Olive Brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With with such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. I'm not going to comment on that. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything how like that? Jim, how many people have asked Jim Chung to marry them? I know I've said several times. Jeez. Uh, marry, me, marry me, senpai! <laughs> I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Oh, God. Oh. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult oh, and she's oh, advertising that again. That's that's the adult channel. That's yeah. Finger. What's I the? I remember. I remember making a joke about that in one of your earlier streams. How that sounds so dirty. Uh yeah, and you know what? It was supposed to be a pun on um, the shining finger sword from Gundam. Uh. Let's see. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. And Shining Fingered asked me about the model for a partnership. I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I think by NND, they were trying to make a Miku Miku dance reference. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. That's what NND means. Uh, Miku Miku dance? Yeah. Yeah, Miku Miku dance, because uh, you have models of the Vocaloids, like Hatsune Miku, and you can animate them to make them dance. That now makes sense. Wait, what's NND? Now makes sense. Don't tell me you haven't heard... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's a reference to Miku Miku dance. Okay. Uh, I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's music videos with 3D models. Okay. Yeah, that I mean, sounds like a good enough explanation. <laughs> if I was like this, I would call it the Rainbow Girl right back, like, the more you know. <laughs> to be honest, though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. Um, <coughs> I think I know where the meat is. Uh, I think I get what she means, too, yeah. You know, I was expecting you to be more scared. When I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. Huh. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, That's you know? Scary. Sure, they're behind screens and... <laughs> sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world, but every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. If you're asking people to... If you got new on... 
I think I think someone will watch it for the wrong bloody reason, girl. She just has a shit ton of self confidence. I wish I could have that much. I get I even when I'm getting dressed by myself, Jeez. I still don't like always have to take my shirt off. Yeah. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. Yeah, that's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. Childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? <laughs> You're not going to tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sort of. <laughs> oh, come on! No epiphany? Quarter-life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <coughs> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Then why are you condoning it? Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Okay, I think I know her. I think I know her uh, demographic now. Eh. Uh, still not as bad as PewDiePie's. Shots fired. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. That's that's being unfair to PewDiePie. Because they're still more mature than Logan Paul's fan base. Boom! I'm betting a thousand tonight. Well, yes. And you you knew it. You you said it while I was about to say it. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRK-S0L, a really old Lilla model. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilum I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries run out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Touching! Full of feeling! Completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that! So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plug-in that lays mosaic censorship over wherever I watch on TV or in the theater. Okay, that is neat. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty cool. That would actually be pretty effective against freaking YouTube. Yes, it would be. Uh, I see. Okay, this is getting stale. Uh, I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to heat this up this. Even if I have to do it myself. I just noticed that. <laughs> we need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Uh, I assume it's a euphemism. Uh, okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. Alright. Is this a euphemism? In reference to Luca's uh, Freddy, Freddy Fish LP. Okay. Let's get her something straight up drunk. Uh, just do something so strong. Yeah, let's get her something with like a shit ton of alcohol. Okay, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, she does want. I mean, she does want to get drunk. 
One Edel Hide, nine Carmatrine. I can make her a big one of those. Oh, God. All right. And the rest is Carmatrine. All right. Two Edel Hide, 18 Carmatrine. Oh, Ben's, Ben's Weaver. Aged and That's mixed. That's like almost pure alcohol. Yeah, uh, she's the there we go. Hello. Okay, yep, she's that did it. Hello. That did it. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh, oh, I can't wait to see it. Clumsy lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> oh, she is strong. Okay, um, it's a reference to, um, Lose Yourself by Eminem, which was the big, uh, theme song, if you will, of, uh, that movie he starred in, 8 Mile. And one of the opening lines was, uh, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs! <laughs> Alright, let's get it on. Whoa, loot stuff. Nope, nope, nope. First, I'll try to get... Oh, jeez. My legs. <laughs> I must warn you, I have 90% success rate with this. Uh-oh. Oh, the loot stuff. Oh, no. Hmm. Don't worry, it's nothing that'll get us banned from Twitch. Oh god, get the bus size. Uh <laughs> Well, that's pretty specific. I'm not discussing my bus. <laughs> Don't be like that. I can tell you're beat up. <laughs> Attitude makes me think you're an ass. And your behavior makes me think your blood is a B. I don't know what she means by you're an S, but oh, S as in mm. man. Small. Let's see. Some you can't. Oh, is it S as in small? S as in some you can't stand. Uh, I think I think she meant S as in submissive. She guessing me? No, she's guessing Jill. So, oh, how oh, many did? I say went completely over your head, honey. <laughs> oh jeez. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Ah, please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because, you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Uh, that would explain it. Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more risks, become more adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex... If I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay 90... Oh, jeez. She's pitching this again. Go premium or go home. Uh, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Eh, everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to, you, to the use of your face. On all I, material I, I produced by Streaming Chan LLC. There is one thing she didn't guess right, my blood type, because even I don't fucking know what my blood type is. <laughs> uh, let's I see. I think I'm O. I think I might be O. Uh, last I, I checked, I was AB. I don't know what I am. Last I checked was in middle school, and I think it was O. 
I'm not sure how legal that is. Uh, people believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny, though. When you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Oh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't I felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? Oh. A oh. week. Oh, jeez. She hasn't had any sleep in a week? Oh, God. Uh, weeks are the ones... Oh, no. <laughs> weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Poor girl. Um. Go get her a bed. And a blanket. A big blanket. And a hoodie. Don't get her every comfort. Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Did you get punched in the face by gold experience? Oh. Joe jokes! Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. Uh, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Collapses onto the floor. <laughs> I think she just did. <laughs> Should I call a cab and risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules than let her sleep deal with and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm going to take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. All right. That's saying something. Oh jeez. I forgot about that girl. Jeez, streaming Chan, what the hell? Please tell me she shows up again. Uh, oh, no, didn't mean to load, didn't mean to load. Meant to save. Oh god, honey. Alright. I just know Dorothy in the bottom of the screen. Yep. Uh, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. I don't think that's lovely. I think that's anxiety-inducing. Yeah, um, that's never lovely. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too Please. long to be dynamite. It sounded more like a heavy-duty tool. Oh, God, they're still arguing about that. You're a heavy-duty tool. Burst. Oh, bird! <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Wait, oh, that... Bird. Damn it! Oh, welcome back. I could have sworn this place... I could have sworn this place looked a lot more... pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender. What did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you, too. Eh, do you think it's dynamite, then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! I just know it's that girl going half a coat. <laughs> Ow. See, those sounds have been going on all night, and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, uh, who is he? Gillian. Nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. <clears throat> Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer? Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. Jeez. This game. Yeah. Uh, two Bronson Extract, one Powder Delta... Two Flannergide, four Karmatrine. Nope, 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 didn't mean to... Uh, reset. Uh-oh. I accidentally clicked it an extra time. Oh. Stupid laptop mouse pads. Oh! <clears throat> yeah, my mouse pad can be pretty sensitive, too. Yeah. Like me. 
like it's like you even so much as touch the thing and it registers as a click even when you don't want it to mine, mine sometimes just doesn't click all right uh mixed and mixed and boom here you go huh thank cool you mix. man after work beer is always the best beer yeah. So <laughs> tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. After work food is just good food in general. I mean, food after work is just good in general. Let's just say anything after work is good. After work bath. Pretty good. Jill, that's a nice name. After work dog. <laughs> could could you like be tired? <laughs> How's business lately? Eh, as usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. Eh, I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Premium. Please don't wake her up. Premium steak. Steak does sound good. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Jan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. Dog. The dog. Oh, I got one of the dogs. It's one of the viewers. I don't know if it's the same person. So, 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera's against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. Hmm, I see. So, there will be a lot more witnesses if something said? Man, Twitch has gotten good about, about sleep streams. <laughs> Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. <laughs> Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Oh. Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. <laughs> She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, how's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. That sounds adorable. Farmer Fabrics. Buy all the clothes and give them <laughs> Farmer Fabrics. That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh. Yeah. That one. Oh, God. What the fuck? We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and, uh, so much saliva everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. But anyway, uh, dog clothes? <laughs> we hired a new employee, and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? Uh, I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. Oh, God! What happened? I've had paper sitting on my bed for a while because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Jeez. Oh, I, I wrapped my blanket around me and the, and the breeze causes it to fly off my bed. Alright. One Brantini? And... That's so, that's so good. Two Brantinis. Here you go. I love... I love the soup in the Brantini. It's so good. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, Deal. 
Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Mm. College was good for me, at least. Eh. Uh, something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliched that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. What's that? Something wrong about that category? Hmm. That's what she says. Yeah. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick? I kind of fit into that category myself, and that my hair never stays down. <laughs> Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. What do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently, un apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. <laughs> Fine, guilty as charged. Jeez, who Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. Give me honor or give me food. <laughs> but she has potential, and I'm not going to let her waste it. Speaking of soup, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get myself a couple <laughs> oranges. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. All right. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized the meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. Everybody's a critic. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome. I'm back. Damn, she I'm has nice hearing. I'm back with two oranges and three cookies, and don't worry, honey, this time they're not yours. <laughs> okay, yeah. now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Oh. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I did? Uh, what did you say about me? <laughs> what did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like, you'd like to see that scenario. Oh, God. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil, then? She has a crush on a boss. What is she? Kobayashi. Oh. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. <laughs> oh. Let's have another round. Sound like a good idea? I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Oh, a big grizzly temple. Two strong drinks, manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up. Okay. Two strong drinks, manly drinks. I think I know just the thing. Get big and extra manly. Let's see. Suplex will do. Suplex uh, and a train. Let's make it a big one. I wish this actually been called train, so that way you could give someone a suplex and give someone a train. <laughs> Or maybe the train would be like, uh, put a trail of salt around the rim or something. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. on the rocks yes. and mixed. Oh wait, no, 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 really not good. aged, just mixed. 
All right. And same here. That actually sounds pretty good. Uh, six. No, no, no. Six. There we go. I hate burning in general. So burning I can really even deal with. Yeah, I, I'm more of a sweet tooth kind of guy. I like sour stuff. I can go for sour stuff on occasion, but usually I'm more of a sweet guy. So does that mean if we go for Chinese, we should get sweet and sour chicken? I'll have the sour, you have the sweet. <laughs> I mean, that's good too. Now drink. I don't drink Chinese places in Austin. Oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Oh, God. Yeah, there are people like that. Oh. I've had someone ask me out as a prank. You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Uh, I have actually had that happen to me in sixth grade. Middle school's where they get you, man. Middle school's where you find out just how horrible everybody can be. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of just me. The end of middle school is when I learned that, learned how nice everyone around me could be because I was just so defensive. Yeah. Jill? Uh, first year of high school. The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. That's pretty much the feeling you get in middle and high school. I really feel like I'm the only person in the world who's actually had good experiences in high school. Uh, the only nerd in, in the world, at least. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations Ow. where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins had been hitting on me in the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Aww. Worst part is, worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. <laughs> so what, she's a fashion designer working for the government? <laughs> I see. What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. <laughs> The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. <laughs> but yeah, your advice um, sounds good enough. <laughs> I... Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, fat as a cutting, flat as a cutting board, but cute as button. Oh yeah, she came to the office. Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Uh, those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh, yeah, yes. Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh, shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a rabbit. Please tell me it's gonna be a rabbit. No, no, it's probably a code word for something. Oh. I was like super excited to see a drinking rabbit. I don't know why. <laughs> Jeez. Shouldn't we be Timothy? worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention, and everything will be easier. Butter jam, egg ketchup. 
Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Hmm, yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Okay. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella. You here for another drink today? Not really. I'm just gonna stop running commentary and let the and let this play out. <laughs> Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and uh Right. Go. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought somebody who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? Uh, I don't know what to say, thanks. <laughs> well, it's nothing really. Uh oh. This just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated what? after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Earlier this morning, the bank... Oh, God. Say! I wonder if she'll be alright. Ah, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. Oh, I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Leave, give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Yeah. Yeah, so that's definitely code word for something. I would laugh if it's not actually called because I'm just, just an actual bunny. <laughs> that actually would be pretty great. <laughs> uh, bunny. Oh, I don't know. All right, six Bronson extract, uh, one powder delta. If we finish this, if we finish this before Tom stops, we can probably surprise him. If we're lucky. Uh, all lucky. blended. I think that's right. And there we go. There we go. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Should they be red instead of yellowish? Uh, then again, the whole Red Planet thing is still in its nickname. We are... Can't believe I'm asking myself. Hey, who's this girl? Uh, she calls um, herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Hmm, thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, uh, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Explosion? Hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. <laughs> Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. This is an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not. Which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. And if only Gil were here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become Maybe it's just... used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is... off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope oh, I'm God. just overthinking it. Yeah. Uh, I think I know what you're doing. Are you worried about something? A uh, girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Uh, never mind. 
You want something else? Uh, yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Uh, fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Here it is. Alright. One Edelhyde. Two Bronson Extract. One Powder Delta. Two Flanerdide. Four Carmatrine. You know what? Let's be nice to him. Let's make it a big one. I am. Uh, do. Two Flanerdide. And four Carmatrine. All mixed. It's big beer. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting, they helped to foster bonds, build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to I mean, know a lot about that's, this. That's... Something I have heard a while back was that um, back during the ancient Egyptian days, the slaves that built the pyramids were actually paid in beer. That's awesome. That's what I heard, anyway. How would they brew it? Uh, from what I understand, they didn't have as much alcohol in beer back then. It was a lot more... It had a lot more actual nutrition value. I mean, Strip, how they brew it? Did the slaves brew their own goddamn payment beer? Nah, uh, I doubt it. It's probably something more like, you know, they had actual beer workers that would make beer, and then they would give that beer to the slaves on behalf of the pharaoh or something like that. Fair enough. Pharaoh enough. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> I set myself up for that one. You kinda did. You kinda did, sweetie. You kinda did. <laughs> Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uh, uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself, and effectively, that new someone's in cyberspace. You would, you will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. And then suddenly it just becomes the Matrix meets Next. It was actor joke in the game. <laughs> Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether. Only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. Use the words burn the brain. Ouch. Um, all for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all oh. brain uploading research after that. Oh. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something about after that. That oh. subject interests you, huh? Makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. I'm uh, still trying to screw all humans how you collect the brains to help your race. Uh, yeah, th that's not the that's not the weirdest thing I've heard. Um, believe it or not, recently I heard in real life that um, apparently it is possible to have cat girls like they have in anime, but the research for all the right. genetic modification needs funding or something like that. That's right. I remember that. I remember that popped up in one of my stories. And somebody made a Twitter like, joke about, you know, like, then, Elon Musk, this is your time. Like, <laughs> was like, we'll pay, I will pay the government $10,000 to get this started. <laughs> yeah, same here. It was like, Always it was a like, pleasure. It was like a tweet. It was like a Facebook post. It was like, we need funding. I'll give you $10,000. <laughs> Say hello to Gillian for me when it comes back. I mean, I mean you'd like to see me as a cat girl, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I mean, cats are cute. I always thought it'd make, be more of a fox girl, though. 
not really a cat girl. I don't know if foxes are on the table. They mentioned specifically cat girls. No, I'm just saying, if I was an anime, uh, an like, half human, I'd be a, I'd probably be a fox, so. <laughs> Whew, all done. That is Dragon Girl. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Uh, thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. Should be installed by now. Nano camo? Mm. Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. <laughs> She'd been pestering oh. me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She'd been asking that for four that's years that's now, and I've always said I was fine. So I... <laughs> so I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. It's also the season of giving. True. So, what will the nano camel module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth. So I picked my kotatsu, too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. This is true. This is very true. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Will you get kotatsu, honey? Uh, if I get room for it. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, it, it all depends. We might be living in my street. Housing until we can get a new place, and we might be... I might move in with you. It all depends. Who knows? Who free knows? Like the free housing is like one room and a kitchen. It's fun to day grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. I'm tired. I think the free housing I could get as looking like my grandma's place. Just <laughs> kitchen and bedroom. That's it. Kitchen and bedroom. And the bedroom is also the living room. That's called an apartment. <laughs> I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Alright. So, we got a lot of earnings today. Plus a 30% commission. Nice. All right, uh, do, 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 do. I believe I will save, and then we are going to call it. Yeah, let's see. You have no new notifications or reminders. Jill wants to buy a fan, even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use nano camo to customize your room. All right, uh, let's go to the shop. Let's get her a fan. I mean, I've got a fan sitting in my room right now, in case it ever gets too hot in my room from the heating. Same here, I've got one of those big box fans. I've, I've got a standing floor fan that's sitting right behind a table. <laughs> Alright, uh... Over, flip it on, and, and that's it. <laughs> it's kay. not close enough to my bed to do, though, so I have to get up. There's a lantern. Uh... I must be blind to the obvious because I can't see. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a console thing. Uh, am I being oblivious because I do not see anything about being a fan? Yeah, I really must be blind to the obvious here. I've actually got two hand fans. Oh, pfft. Joker Cyclone, doy. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good, though. Really good. 
Yeah, man. I can't. I really was blind to the obvious of that. Holy crap. I mean, to be fair, is that. Would, would that really be the name of a fan? Well, it's with a name like Cyclone. Stuff that also sounds like the name of a vacuum cleaner. Uh, true. Like freaking Dyson or something. Uh. Yes. Yes, like Nano like camo that. app, huh? Okay, so we oh can. My God, I just thought of a, I just thought of a really shitty game. Uh, okay, so we can change the room colors Alan now. Dyson, how about Alan Dyson's vacuum cleaner fighter. <laughs> Alan Dyson. Yeah. Alan Dyson's vacuum cleaner fighter. Oh jeez. Uh, all right, <laughs> and we can also change the pattern on the uh, Kotatsu here. That sounds like a game John would own. Kinda does. <laughs> uh, let's see, torpedoes, stripes, uh, little spirals. Alright. Uh, oh, we can get more... If I if I was good to know that game uh, design, I would do that. <laughs> I, might, I might try to re get back into contact with my game designer friend. But yes, I do have a friend in the game design community. We went to college together. Uh. All right. Uh, uh let's. I need to talk. Oh jeez. Oh god, this is gonna look so tacky. Oh jeez, that looks so tacky. Like what? yeah, like how do you make things tacky by making them match? Do the animal print. The animal print. I want to see what it looks like. Ugh, no, God. no, that's even worse. Uh, I, I that looks good. Yet. That actually looks good. Oh, God. One wall is blending into the other. It, yeah, I know. Anything here? Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, those are pricey. Okay, yep, nope, we're stopping there. Take I'm just gonna grab this nice. one. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oof. I think we've done enough drinking for tonight. <laughs> All right. I uh, mean, I think I'll go I, ahead I'm and save. Uh, I I am a bit. I am slowly becoming a social drinker. So. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to save, and that will be it for tonight, I believe. Okay. I, I love how I about to just like, well, that's enough things for tonight. <laughs> we actually end off. Yeah. All right, so... Let I us mean, see. Can my bow be my outro? Because <laughs> I kind of want to hide my head on my blanket now. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have an idea for a hashtag to raid with. Hashtag street. We're, we're most definitely raiding Tom. Either Tom or Lysero. All right, they still on. Okay. Yep, Tom's, still, Tom's still going strong with 570. All right. Uh, let's oh. raid him with uh, streaming Chan. Stream Chan. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 better yet, better yet. Drunk streaming Jan. Oh, I mean to be fair, she was drunk. She was indeed drunk. Alright, uh... I on life. Okay, better yet, yeah, okay. Hashtag drunk streaming Jan. And we are going to raid... Tom Fox. Tom Fox. Alright. Raid Tom, and backslash raid Tom Fox. And it looks like he's playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, yep, I noticed that earlier. All right, and I will go ahead and uh end the stream in a minute 
if Google Chrome decides to cooperate. Bye, everyone watching. Yeah. I'll go ahead and post this on um, YouTube in a bit. Come on, oh let God, me... Oh, God, all the soaps I made are going to be on YouTube forever. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold there we go. This is, this, this is actually one of the shorter ones, so I can actually watch it on YouTube. Alright, uh, oh, right, I'll need to actually, like, properly start the raid. Uh, raid now. Let's do it! That's the collection first! All right, gonna go ahead and uh, do, 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 do. That was fun. Uh, still recording. Give me a second. Want to see if I can get uh, Tom's reaction on here? Oh God, I saw the stream muted. That's right. Uh, do, 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 do. Things. If the stupid thing would cooperate, there we go. Uh, okay, we've got Monica. Monica. Okay, yep. God, buffering. Oh, jeez, yeah, I'm getting it too. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the stream while we're at it. I wasn't the one that raiding! Someone fucking called me out! What? What happened? Oh jeez. Oh, okay. We're getting into the weird parts of Doki Doki apparently. All right. Um That's my advice for today. Yeah. Thanks for listening. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and edit the stream. So, I'll see you guys another time. Uh I'll see if I can finish uh Chrono Trigger, if not tomorrow, then Friday. Alright, bye guys!